guys and welcome to KMI 1500 at Noble Tutors. I'm Hilary. Um, just for an introduction, KMI is mathematics which focuses on different aspects of mathematics and statistics. So I'm going to introduce you to the module and highlight to you what are, what to expect and what topics we need to cover. There are several number of topics that are very significant in your module and that contributes much to your examination. First and foremost, for QMI 1500, we need to deal with data collection. and presentation of data. This, to this topic talks about how we can use data and defines what, what data is and how we can use it to interpret our daily activities. For example, data is formed in two different aspects such as qualitative data and quantitative data. So on this topic, it focuses mainly on how we collect and present data in which we can interpret that data to get useful information about it. So we'll be looking at the mathematical aspect of that. Having said that, we are also going to look at index numbers. Index numbers are usually used in economics, but we are also going to look at it in mathematical terms where we'll be calculating the indexes such as a price index quantity index and value index so we are going to look at all these indexes and their formulas and how <coughs> and how to apply them we are also going to look at the graphical side of mathematics where we are going to talk about straight line and quadratic equations or formulas. So among us is this for a straight line just a brief for a straight line we need to remember that a straight line is given by y is equals to ax plus b. So we are going to discuss that in greater detail on the classes that comes after. We also have quadratic function a quadratic function is ax squared plus bx plus c which are going to discuss in greater details. Having said that, we are also going to look at inequalities. Inequalities, where we will be explaining the differences in symbols such as greater than, less than, equal to, and uh, less than or equal to or greater than or equal to all these symbols we are going to discuss them in greater details under inequality and how we apply the mathematical principles in explaining those we are also going to deal with counting rules counting rules counting rules in mathematics they impose a great impact in as much as learning is concerned. So when we are talking about counting rules, we are looking at 
those rules such as multiplication rules permutation rule and combination rule so we are going to talk about this in detail We are also going to talk about summation. So here I'm highlighting to you the most important areas that you need to, that we are going to go through and that you need to master to be able to answer your examination without a stress. Summation, which is this symbol, which indicates or which in other words referred to as the sum of a plus b plus c so summation means it's a, it's a sum of a plus b plus c we're going to look at that in detail lastly but not least we are also going to look at financial maths going to look at financial maths under financial maths we are going to talk about simple interest compound interest annuities and amortization <coughs> so we'll be talking about this in greater details when we go through our topics so I'm gonna cover all these sections in the next classes that follow so basically what we are going to be focusing on we're going to be focusing on these topics and how to answer them when it comes to the examination so we're going to cover as much ground as possible along these topics will be explaining everything and you will be able to ask questions if there's any need if you haven't understood anything so by just simply going through these topics we will be able to cover every section of our of our syllabus for 1500 qmi this is me mr h so i'll be taking you through all this in greater detail in the classes that follows Thank you for attending with us.